everyone and welcome back to Learning to Be Prepared. Do your batteries often end up like this, where the different ends can touch and discharge the batteries? Maybe you just throw these in your bag somewhere and you don't know where they are. Today I wanted to share something with you that will help take your batteries from this to this. These are AA and AAA battery cases. I found these on Amazon and I found them under the title of Blue Cell. I purchased a pack of nine for $3.60. So you can find them in different size packages. So somebody may be selling one or two, whereas someone else may be selling a group of nine, like what I've gotten. I've ordered these about two or three times now. Granted, it does take about four to six weeks to get them in sometimes, and maybe less. Sometimes it's three to four weeks. But what these are is they're little cases. They're very, very basic, actually. And when you open them up, if there's nothing in them, they're very, very light. And they might actually seem a little bit flimsy when you first take them out of the package. But once you put your batteries in them like this, they firm up, so to speak. Um, the batteries kind of give them a nice solid feel. And when you open these up, each battery fits in a little slot so they don't move around like that. Now the double A's fit horizontal, but if you want to put triple A's in them like this here, these are the little energy, whoop, and now they are gonna slip around because I'm holding them sideways. But these are triple A's and you turn them the other direction. So when you close them up, they don't slide around inside there, top to bottom. They stay fairly, fairly still in there, but the triple A's do rattle just a little bit more than the double A's. Now when, you're, when you have these in your backpack, I don't notice that being a distraction for me. One nice thing about these as well is that if you look on the side here, they have these little slots, just like that. And on the other side, they also have these little grooves. You can see them there. So these actually fit together like that. What I like about that is if I want to have four triple A's and four double A's of say my Energizer lithium ions, I can clip them together and put them in my pack. And that way I have access to all of them at once. And you can still open them up individually like that as well. So I really like these personally. They help me keep everything organized. They make a similar product for your 18650s as well. And they are very light. The 18650s have a little bit different style opening. They have these two little clamps. You can open these up. Your 18650 batteries, which are the ones that replace two CR123 batteries, they fit long ways. But this case also holds CR123s right here as well. So you can put four CR123s or two 18650s. Now, if you're wondering how you might store these, and actually before I get to that, let me show you one other thing. When, another reason for these is not just to have them like this so you can put them inside a pack or something. But a lot of times when you open up your pack of batteries, like this one here, the back came completely off. So these batteries right here, if I turn them over, one or two of them are, you know, they're gonna fall out pretty easily. So by using these, you put the batteries in here and you don't have to worry about keeping that cardboard package intact anymore. Here I just have an empty EDC organizer, but I just want to show you that if you have a pack of two, for an example, they fit nicely just right inside there. 
in this particular Bancrest pouch, there's actually pockets on this side. And these fit very nicely right inside there. At home, I keep a lot of these organizers um, with all my different types of gear and just different types of things that I want to have stored that I'm not currently using inside a bag. Taking the lid off, you can see that instead of having a bunch of batteries rolling around, I have some of my extra door sill batteries just stored right inside here. And so they always stay nice and neat inside there and it really makes my individual organization buckets a little bit nicer. And the last final one that I'll show you, I'll move a couple of these things out of the way. You guys have probably seen my EDC pack by VanQuest before and I know this is a little hard to see so I'm going to tilt this down. Inside my backpack in this top pocket, I actually just keep mine right there. Um, I actually just purchased some um, new Energizer lithium batteries and I'm going to be replacing these um, Duracells that I currently have, these alkalines, because these do get a little bit heavy, but I'm going to be replacing them. So, depending on what type of batteries you have in here, they can be almost weightless as well. And this doesn't take up a lot of room. Like I said, I keep it in this one little pouch right there and it has Velcro. So I just put it in there. And if I shake this, you don't really hear the batteries that much either. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, quick video on a tip on how to store your batteries so that you don't have to worry about them being like this. Okay guys, have a great day.